and my schedule just got released for next semester. That filling is so good. And these aren't gonna be stereotypical productivity tips like make your bed in the morning to feel more productive. No, these are gonna be real talk tips. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison. It is nice to meet you. Welcome back to just a normal vlog. I am vlogging in real time for Vlogmas right now. So this is Vlogmas day 12. My dog wants to play again. Guys, remember when I got Melba? Some of you may have been following me since we got her. We got her in July. Look how beautiful she is. Hi. Are you enjoying Vlogmas? Do you watch it on your puppy phone? Anyways, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a real-time vlog, and like I've told you guys, I'm gonna throw her toy for her real quick so she'll stop looking at me. Like I've told you guys, I am going to be having a topic that we talk about every single day in Vlogmas, ones that I've been frequently asked about, and today's vlog topic is going to be productivity, time management, how I schedule everything out, how I seem like I have my life together, most of the time and honestly after finishing my first semester of law school i can say i am a pretty on top of it person a lot of it is just my personality but i also do have pretty good time management skills so i will share with you my top tips later in this vlog but you should subscribe to my channel i'm running a giveaway right now on the following items insert b-roll clip here um you can enter the giveaway i'm running it from december 11th yesterday to the 24th and I will announce a winner in the last vlog of Vlogmas. If you wanna enter, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, which you should totally do. Follow me on Instagram, which my username is madison.rector and comment on this picture, any Christmassy emoji. Guys, I asked you to comment Christmassy emojis and so many of you are leaving me such nice messages so I'm gonna sit down and respond to those today. But just know that I appreciate them a lot. But right now, I think I am going to lay on that couch and watch Survivor for a little bit. You guys know, during the last week of finals or so, I was watching a lot of Survivor. Maybe more so than I should have been, because I should have been studying. But I am going to watch more Survivor today. We are going to have a very chill self-care day, because it is my first day without having any responsibilities. It feels really weird. I just kind of feel like I should read a case book or you know, do an outline or a practice exam, but those are all done. It is all behind me. I feel so good. So I'm gonna work out for a little bit. I mean, I'm not gonna work out. I'm gonna lay on the couch for a little bit. Then I'm going to work out. Then I'm going to kind of get my life together a little bit and we will talk all about time management, productivity, all that stuff. But first, I tried some Krispy Kreme holiday donuts a little bit ago and I wanted to insert that old footage here just to spice things up, make things a little more festive. These donuts were incredible. So, insert that footage right here. Hi, do you have the Christmas donuts? Yes, I do. Um, can we do one of each of those? Be Thank you. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas so far. Like I said, I'm not sure what video this is gonna go in. Um, I'm just filming things so that if I have a day that's really light, I can just be like, look at all this footage from the past. But we got coffees. We're gonna taste these holiday donuts. I'm really excited. They have like a present one. There's one that's red velvet, one that's sugar cookie, one that's chocolate inside, and then yeah. I got a plain glaze for a palate cleanser. But we're gonna do a taste test. Holiday taste test, getting festive. Thank you. Thank you so much. Time to taste the donuts. I am so freaking hungry. All right, let's get. I can't. I can't. Oh, these are what the donuts look like. They look cute on camera. That's really all that matters. <laughs> Is this warm? No, it's cold. All right. Womp womp. Hold on. All right, so we're gonna taste these donuts for you guys. As always, we forgot to get napkins, but that's that is okay. We are going to live on the edge today. What? Ew! I'm not gonna eat that. Bite the sugar cube. God, I have to go to the dentist. <laughs> what if I just cracked my tooth and I didn't cut the video? I think I want to try the sugar cookie one first. The sugar cookie one? That one's like ugly. Show it to you. Gotta show it to the camp. <laughs> it's ugly. <laughs> well, we just took like the little decoration off and took a bite <laughs> out of it as well. All right, you Me? go first. You okay, go first. okay, okay. I'll do a, a close up. Ugly. It's a plaid donut. Mmm. It's beautiful on the inside though, right? Um, it's a little too sweet for me. It doesn't really taste like sugar cookie to me. It just tastes like sugar. It's very custardy. Custardy? See, I thought it was more like whipped. Let me see that. Let's show you guys the inside. It has the flavor of custard. 
but it's like it's like an icing filling. I don't know. I think that one's fine. I would give that one like a six out of ten. Like I said, I don't really ever dislike a donut. I've never had a donut that I dislike. That one's just like a six. Like I'd eat it, but it's not my favorite. I'm trying to. We have Santa. Santa's belly. It looks a little pink on the camera. It's like sugar it's, on the Yeah, there's a lot of like just granulated sugar on the top. All right, you go first again. Me first? Okay. You like me to go first so I can get past to get to the center so that you can get No, up. I don't care. I don't oh, care. I thought you were being chivalrous, but you just want the filling. Ew, don't tongue punch the donut, Madison. That's what it looks like inside that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted to ta I wanted to taste the filling. That one's better than the first one. Mm. That one's good. That one's like a 7.5. So if you guys don't know, red velvet is my favorite flavor of anything ever. I love red start. velvet. It's the it's a tree. It's very like bright and like white. They can probably see it though. All right, after you again. That filling is so good. Guys, they put so much in too. Whoa, that's like, inc look at I that. I kind of destroyed it with my bite, but. Mm, that one's so good. Nine, 9.5. That filling's incredible. And then we just got a glazed one. I would say that was really good. Definitely check them out. We have yet to try the gingerbread one because it's not out yet. The gingerbread one comes out on the 16th. We just, I love how we know so much about like fast food news. <laughs> like a fast food sponsor would make a lot of sense for my brand. Um, anyways, that was us. <laughs> that was us trying the donuts. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know where this, these clips are going to go into the vlogs. All right, guys, I'll update you guys in a little bit or go back to the vlog. You guys, you guys know, we'll figure something out. Bye. But yeah, the donuts were really good. Wish I had them right now. But I don't, so I'm gonna sit up on that couch, play with my dogs, and I will update you guys in a little bit. Guys, I'm going to document me sitting on the couch because this just feels so good. Look at this, I'm not in my office. Melba, I'm not in my office. I'm sitting out here and guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna watch Netflix. It's such a good feeling. I didn't get out of bed until 10 o'clock this morning. Jeff Probst is gonna keep me entertained for like the next four hours or so, and we cannot wait. Oh my gosh, guys, I have been laying on the couch all day. And when I say all day, it's 3.30 right now. I've been on the couch watching Survivor for over three hours now. I started a new season. I watched both the seasons on Netflix, and now I'm just starting from season one. So I'm watching season one, which is really weird to watch. But I'm gonna watch all the seasons over break, I've decided. You know, whenever you've been on the couch too long or just in bed for too long and you start to feel like ill, like malaise, a general feeling of malaise. You're just like, I feel disgusting. Like I gotta get up. So I was like, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna work out even though that's the last thing I wanna do right now is go work out, but I'm gonna do it because I know it'll make me feel better. I have like a full body workout planned. I'm going to start with a little run. It's a random route. I think it's around 1.3 miles. So I'll start with that just to warm up. And then I just had like a random weights workout. And then I'm going to shower and we will sit down and talk about all my productivity time management, little tips and stuff. I really don't wanna do this right now. I'm procrastinating. I realize that my coping mechanism whenever I don't wanna do something is I talk to this camera. <laughs> I love when I realize toxic traits that I have, but I think I'm gonna go now so that I actually do it. Hopefully this won't take that long. I love working out. Nine times out of 10, I'm excited for my workouts, but it's that one time out of 10 when it's so important to get up and get at it, so. Let's do it. You know, sometimes how the warm up, a little more difficult than usual. Yeah, that's how I just felt. We're gonna get through this workout anyways. Let's do it. Guys, I'm in the middle of my workout, literally 422, and my schedule just got released for next semester. I'm gonna finish my workout really quick, and then I'm going to sit down and talk to you about my schedule. <sighs> Things are getting crazy up in here, but I gotta get this done. I just finished working out. That took way longer than usual because I got distracted and I was just taking it at a leisurely pace. It is five o'clock right now. Obviously, I knew my classes were going to be legal research, legal writing, Civ Pro, Crim Law, and 
constitutional law. So I knew those were my five classes, I just didn't know what times or professors that I had. So it's pretty much the same thing as last semester on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, I have a big class day. On Wednesday this semester I have legal research and legal writing and then on Fridays I have legal writing as well. So things are a little bit better this semester I would say. But if you guys remember last semester I had class until 5.30 every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Now I don't have that, thankfully. So. I start my mornings a little earlier. I have crim law with a professor that I am so excited to take. It was a professor I actually sat in on a class for when I visited WashU, and I'm just really excited to take his crim law class. It's that 8.30 to 9.42 on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Then at 10.30 to 11.42, I have civil procedure, and I actually have the same professor that I had for property last semester, so I'm at least familiar with the style of teaching and everything, so that'll be good. And then I have constitutional law from 2.30 to 3.42. So I'm done with classes by 3.42, very precise time, which is very, very, very nice. On Wednesdays, I have class from 9 to 9.50, legal writing, and then I have class from 10.30 to 11.22, legal research. And then Friday, I just have legal writing from 9 to 9.50. So really not a bad schedule for next semester. I'm not mad about it. I actually didn't think they were going to have them out for a long time because they took so long to get us our fall semester schedules. So I'm pleasantly surprised. I think I'm going to go up to make my smoothie, then shower, then cook dinner maybe, and then sit down and talk to you guys about all my productivity tips. So I hope you're enjoying this kind of day in the lifestyle vlogs. We're going to have a lot of these. I'm going to try to keep them as entertaining as possible. I think I'm going to be doing a QA, and a so I'm going to put a post on the community tab asking for questions. So hopefully I get some good questions and I can make a future vlog interesting. So let's go. I thought it would be fitting to come into the office to talk about productivity, time management, motivation, all those things. I have gotten a few questions about how I schedule my time, my top time management skills, how I stay productive, and just generally get things done. I will preface this with I'm a very type A person, I just always have been, I've never had a late assignment, never, I just don't, the idea of having a late assignment makes me kind of want to freak out, honestly, I just, I'm very on top of things. It's like my body will not let myself leave work unfinished if that makes sense. It's a really weird thing. So that is a big part of it, but over the years I have found some tips that I think would really help you guys. So I kind of wanted to talk about them, and these aren't going to be stereotypical productivity tips like make your bed in the morning to feel more productive. No, these are going to be real talk tips on how to kind of look in at yourself and realize what study techniques and what productivity techniques will help you the most. My first thing whenever you're making a schedule and you're trying to be productive and get things done is to be realistic with yourself. And now this is really important. And this is, this kind of goes into the next one. Be realistic with yourself. If you wake up, I make a schedule for every day. Actually, time, let me see if I can find one. They look like this. So it says 7 a.m. wake up, 7 to 7.30, coffee, emails, prep for day, 7.30 to 8, shower, 8.30 to 11, contracts review, 11 to 11.45. Literally, I break it down by the minute and I don't always adhere to it 100% but I just that's what I find is good for me and I'm realistic with myself when I do it if I said 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. study for contracts that would not work because that's not realistic I know myself I know I'm not gonna study for nine hours straight so in here I have two hours 1 to 3 p.m. take a nap I schedule in time to relax into my days because I know I can't grind for nine hours straight I just can't if you can that's great but I say be realistic with yourself. Give yourself, if you have an eight hour day, give yourself two hours in that time to relax, to eat, to watch YouTube, to do whatever you wanna do. Be very realistic with yourself. You gotta do it. You gotta be honest with yourself or else you're not gonna be as productive as you could be. So now I'm giving myself two hours to relax so that the other six hours, I actually know I'm going to be getting solid work done and I won't be distracted on my phone and stuff because I did that during the two hours. So the first step to making a routine that you can stick with and being super productive is being realistic with yourself. You need to give yourself a reality check. I had to have the talk with myself, Madison, you're not gonna study for nine hours in a row. Your brain will be absolutely fried. You wish you could do that, but you're just not one of those people. So you need to give yourself some breaks and put them in your schedule. That's the talk I have with myself. Have a similar one with yourself. That kind of goes into my second one, which is make time for things that you like in your schedule every single day. 
every day. It's not like once a week I will watch a movie. No, do something little every single day for you. And that can be working out. I will briefly touch on working out in this because I do get asked how I schedule my workouts, how I make time for working out while I'm in law school. My workout schedule has been pretty consistent throughout law school. And my biggest tip with that is having some sort of goal that does not revolve around your appearance. Like right now, I want to run the fastest 5k I've ever ran. I ran cross country in high school. One of my goals is to run a really fast 5k. I'm working towards that every week. I know my workouts are motivating me to get to that goal. I want to lift a certain amount of weight. All my goals are very strength and endurance based rather than aesthetic based and also mental health based. I just know that I feel so much better. It's like I was talking about earlier in this video. I did not want to work out today. I am so glad I did because I felt like crap sitting on the couch. So it's really just with working out, you're not going to be motivated all the time if your goal is to look a certain way. That's just not how it's going to be. Have goals for yourself that are not based on your appearance and that should help the motivation with working out. At least it did for me. So that was a side tangent, but it kind of goes into making time for what you like. Working out is something that I like. YouTube is something that I like. I give myself two hours for YouTube every single day, mostly because this is a big hobby for me and I'm also trying to grow a brand. I want to do a video all about YouTube during Vlogmas. So I'm not going to spoil anything, but I really love it. So it means a lot to me and I like to give myself a couple hours. If you're only letting yourself watch Netflix for an hour a week, that has got to be bad for your mental health and the same thing with anything else you want to do. Make time for it every single day. You can do it. Trust me. You have time in law school. I know it feels like you don't have any time. You do have time. Take one of those hours out of studying that you're not getting anything done and you're sitting on your phone and make that your mental health time. Boom. Then it's scheduled in and you can do something that you like. So that's my second recommendation. My third recommendation is understand how you like to get work done. Here's what I mean by this. Some people, if they're three weeks out from a deadline, they cannot get motivated to do the work. They need five days before the deadline for the sense of urgency to kick in for them to think, okay, I really need to get this done. And that works for people. I'm not like that. I like to break things down if I have a paper due in three weeks. I'm going to be working on it a little bit every day, maybe a couple days off. That's how I am. If you are a person who does the best work under pressure, you like having that sense of urgency that motivates you to get it done. Don't try to get yourself to start working on it three weeks in advance. Now, this is within reason. I'm not saying if you have an open memo due, don't start doing the research until five days before. I'm just saying don't bite off more than you can chew if you know you're someone who can get work done under pressure. Backload your work more. Still do work up until the week before, but just know I can do more work the week before because that's what motivates me. Where I like to, and I did this this semester, I prefer to front load my work. Let's do more at the beginning so the days before the final, the day before the memos due, it's very chill. So it all depends how you like to get work done when you're making a study schedule and you want to be productive. Hi. <laughs> Break up big tasks into manageable ones and also allocate by time. So I do both of these things. So say for the memo, you had to find the cases, you had to read the cases, you had to decide which cases to use in your memo, you had to read through your client facts, you had to do a lot of things to make the memo. So what I do is if I'm working on legal writing for two hours that day, I will set a timer for two hours and I will set a very specific goal. Find five cases. Boom. That's my goal. Those two hours, I am strictly working on finding those five solid cases. I have a goal in mind. It's not, the goal is not finish the memo. Okay. The goal is manageable. Find five cases. I can do that in two hours. Easy. The next day it's read the five cases that I found and brief them. Then I have a goal that two hours is going to be dedicated to reading those cases. A manageable goal. So when I was studying for finals, I don't know if you guys remembered, I would set an hour timer during this hour. I'm going to do this. And that's what I did. Giving yourself a goal it prevents you from A, wasting time, because if you say I'm going to devote two hours to this and you don't have a plan for what you're going to do, you're going to be wasting some of that valuable study time <laughs> thinking of what you're going to do. <laughs> I move my hands so much she wants to play with them. And B, it'll keep you motivated and you can break up a huge monumental memo or task into smaller ones and you'll be less prone to being overwhelmed. Write all the little ones in your planner and check them off as you go. That feels so good. Next, it's spicing things up. This is mostly in terms of like subjects for law school and doing all of your stuff. If you're studying for five hours and all you're doing during that time is reading property, first of all, I'm sorry. And second of all, you're probably not making the most use of your time. 
I've tried to read a whole week's worth of property in one sitting and after like the two hour mark, my brain is just so numb to property. So you gotta spice it up. You gotta keep things fresh. You're doing an hour of property. Okay, property for Monday is done. Let's move on to contracts for Monday. I'm gonna stop reading. I'm gonna outline a little bit. Mix it up because that makes it more fun. Your brain is more engaged because you're switching subject matters rather than if you're just learning about easements for four hours straight. That is a major key to developing a routine and being productive. I know it's not fun doing your class readings all the time, but you wanna make it the most spicy that it can be so it keeps your interest, even when the material is really dry. So constantly be switching it up. One hour we're gonna do this, then we're gonna do this. And that also makes the time go by faster because you're like, oh, I just did three hours, but I did all these different things, so it felt like it went by faster. And those are some of my productivity tips, how I get things done in law school. I front loaded my work a ton this semester. I could do a full another video about time management, and I might. I might make a part two to this little discussion we just had because I really love time management. I love making a schedule. I'm like the person who makes the itinerary when people go on vacations because that's just me. That's all for this little segment of the video. This video is going to be so long, guys. It's only 741. I was worried now that I'm starting to daily vlog that my content was going to be really short, but I talk way too much. This video, hold on, I'm looking at it right now. This video already has 30 minutes of footage and I haven't even, I haven't started editing it yet. So we're good. This is going to be a long vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed just listening to me chat. What do you want to do? Should we go watch more Survivor? I actually think I'm going to go continue watching Survivor, obviously, and I'm going to respond to some YouTube comments because I haven't responded to a ton today. And I'm gonna play with my little girl because she's a nut right now. Okay, catch you guys later. Okay, everyone, it is about 10 o'clock right now. Wow, my hair is absolutely crazy. I am about to start editing this vlog and also playing some PlayStation, so I'm going to end it right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was interesting. Let me know if you like the daily vlogs because I'm going to be posting a lot of them in the next couple of weeks. So if you have any topic ideas, I'm always open to suggestions. And yeah, I'm going to edit this video, post it tonight for tomorrow morning at 8am. So I will see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe. Okay, bye!